First, I am using washable glue and a spatula in order to flatten her brows onto her face to prepare drawing thinner brows on for later. Next, using an orange color correction cream, I'm dabbing down the product on her glued brows to reinforce them bad boys to stay down. As you can see here, this is the step of taking away brows instead of your typical nowadays technique of filling in your brows. Before moving on, make sure to powder the brows in order to keep the color correction layer from moving. Next, we need to even out the model's skin. My model is naturally pale, but because she has a blue undertone for dark circles, a foundation few shades tanner will neutralize them. And poof, brows be gone. Time for the main inspiration. Using eyelash adhesive, I glue down these peacock feather lashes half an inch under her bottom lash line. The reason why I didn't place them directly on her lash line was for her to still receive a creative blend of color all around her eyes. From NYX Cosmetics Anti Diva Trio, the first color I'm applying is the gold shimmery color. I apply this color on the inner corner of my eye, then blend it out one third on both top lid and under the lash line. From NYX Cosmetics Wicked Dreams palette, I'll be using a shimmery medium brown in two areas. The first area is in the middle of under the lash line, next to the gold. The second area is from the crease blending the product up with a back and forth motion to create a smoky effect. The next color I'll be using is NYX Cosmetics Hot Single Eyeshadow called Dank Humid. I'm applying this color to the outer part of the lid in a V-shape to connect both areas with the brown last used. Going back to the Wicked Dreams palette, I'm using this deep glittery blue eyeshadow to fill in the rest of the eyelid I left blank. I did go back with the rest of the colors I used before to make sure the blue was transitioning evenly into all directions. Time to pop out her pearly blue eyes. With an eyeliner pencil, I'm applying black to her waterline. And to make sure her eyeliner appears thicker, I took the black eyeshadow from the Wicked Dream palette and brushed it directly on her bottom lash line. To outline her top lid, is stuck with using the black eyeshadow to keep it consistent and more subtle compared to liquid eyeliner. Now taking black cake eyeliner, I am drawing the model some new eyebrows. Making sure to keep thin and symmetrical, I use small tick marks. And voila, our model has brows again. To complete this look, we are using NYX Cosmetics Macaron Lippies in the color Chambord, which is basically a black color. 
I started off by using a disposable lip wand to transfer the color and fill in most of our lip space, but then continued to use a lip brush to make sure I got a crisp outline of the lip shape I wanted. completes this 1920s avant-garde peacock inspired face. Thank you to Amber Gillespie for being my patient model. And if you enjoyed this quick tutorial, please subscribe to hopefully see more in the future. And don't forget to also check out my Facebook and Instagram pages linked in the description.